Alright all, welcome back. I've already spent a lot more time than I wanted to on this, but you know, it's supposed to be kind of an all-encompassing, so. So, it's going to take what it's going to take. Look, if you've noticed, I've switched to the kickoff menu here. Which I showed you how to do in the last part of the video. It's because it's going to make this easier. We also enabled the compiz effects before. Those of you who... Now, I, if you'll notice, I have a very minimalistic taskbar down here. I personally want my web browser down there. So here's how you do it. You find the application you want to add down there, you right click on it, and you click add to panel. Oh look, there it is. Oh, but it's not where I want it. Okay. This is something a lot of people hate about KDE4, because it's KDE4 just works different enough that it can be a little annoying. In KDE3, that would be no big deal. I just unlock my panels, and I drag it wherever I want. Blah, 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 yeah, 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 and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I can even drag it from one thing to another and open it and yada yada and so forth. In KDE4, to prevent accidental drag and drop, this thing is in a semi-locked state at all times. I can't just accidentally grab stuff and drag it off. In the right hand corner here, there's this little thing called Panel Toolbox. That's this little goldy guy symbol. Click that, and now you're in the Edit Panel mode, and everything here is movable. So I can reorder the icons like I want. You know, I'm going to put Firefox here where I want it. I'm going to take this removable drive things and move it over here between the clock and the open widgets like I want it. And I can add widgets, you know, I can come down here and so on. I also have, you know, auto hide, which is, uh, windows can cover below, yada yada and so forth. So, it's, once you figure the trick of it, the trick of it out is to edit it, click this panel thing. And then, you know, it's pretty self-evident from there. Screen edge, height, you know, I, I tell it whether I want it on the left, on the bottom, on the right, on the top. It, it, it's, so the trick is to click this little edity button down there. If I lock it, the little edity button goes away and I can't do anything until I unlock the widgets. So I recommend you leave it unlocked so you can also do the right click, add, and so on all over the place. Now, Here's comp. I started typing compiz. This tool right here, compiz configuration settings manager, is something I recommend anyone who's going to be using Linux and the 3D effects get familiar with. And here are all your little pretty 3D effects. You know everything from zoom enhanced uh, to the big old rotating cube and all the other weird little effects, wobbly windows fading, taking screen snapshots, yada 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 and so forth. These are all just cool little effects which are really fundamental to making Linux user friendly. To scale, you know, let me open some other windows so that actually shows what it does. You know, which by default, tiling windows like this is putting your cursor in the upper right hand corner. And there's a similar feature for showing the desktops, which it seems has not been enabled. Let's see.
looks like everything hasn't been enabled yet for this beta. But, oh well. It's got the basic ones you want. The way, this is a little counterintuitive right here, but this is just the way Linux is. In this thing, if you go to advanced search, it will tell you what the key combinations are to trigger stuff. Some of them will have something like super. I prefer to set these to something I can remember. But you can set them to whatever you want. You know, so they are what they are. You also notice down here I have this thing called automatic updates check. That was the update notifier I checked. This little widget, the reason I recommend you install it is because it will automatically check for updates. I kind of want the file manager in my panel, so I'm going to add it. Dolphin file manager is pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of features you can edit into it. Like, I prefer to enable preview. Um, so when I mouse over things, I'll see them. But get around in here, screw around, get used to it. Okay, this is the end for getting going, getting worked up. In the coming weeks, I will do videos which go through, this is how you do this, this is how you do that. Because I'm already up to seven parts for this, which is a little ridiculous. But this has shown you how to get Linux in and get good to go. I will go over usability and features in the coming weeks. And basically, you know, help, okay... This is the equivalent of this. This is the equivalent of this. This is the equivalent of that. And we'll just get going from there. Peace out all. Have fun.